In this video, you will learn how to create and manage users for your photo and account. To manage users, go to the web portal, then go to admin console, and then users, roles, and permissions. This screen will list all the users associated with your photo and account. To add a new user, click on the new user button and complete the information required for a new account. Let's discuss the information on this screen. At the top is the user's contact information, their first name, last name, and email address. In the access section, there are several options that control what the user's permissions will be. Their mobile app access controls what the user is allowed to do within the mobile app on their mobile devices. Web portal access controls what the user is allowed to do within the web portal. And project access controls what projects the user is allowed to capture new photos for, to create reports for, and to access photos for. Under the web portal, there may be up to four options available depending on what version of photo in you are using. Options may be admin, project admin, viewer, and none. The default role is viewer. The viewer role gives the user the ability to search for and view photos and reports in the web portal. The admin role allows the user to perform administrative functions, such as managing user accounts and managing projects. This role should only be selected for users who need that ability. Customers using the enterprise version of PhotoIn will have a project admin role available. A user with project admin permissions has the ability to do certain project administrative functions, such as configuring tags and reports. Lastly, the web portal role can be set to none, which will effectively disable a user's access to the web portal. This may be useful if there are some users who should only access photo in via the mobile device. Under mobile app access, there are three options available. Upload only, Upload Download, and None. The default option is Upload Only. It allows the user to take and sync new photos from their device and create and sync reports from their device. Users with Upload Only will only see their own photos on their device. They can view other users' photos from the web portal. The Upload Download option gives the users the same ability to take and sync new photos and reports but it also causes the mobile app to download information about all photos taken by all users to the device. While this is useful in some scenarios, it does consume considerably more network data and can slow down the sync process for those users. Therefore, choosing this setting should be done with caution for most customers. Lastly, the mobile app role can be set to none. This will disable a user's ability to take new photos or create reports within the mobile app. This may be useful if there are users whose access should be restricted to only the web portal. Under Project Access Policy, there may be up to two options available, again, depending on which version of PhotoIn you are using. The default option will be All Projects. A user with All Projects access will be able to create new photos and reports for any project in the system. PhotoIn Enterprise customers will also have an Assigned Projects option. A user with this policy will only be able to create photos and reports for the projects to which they have been granted access. In addition to the information required to create an account, there are several options available for how the account is processed and initialized. By default, the validate email option is set. With this option set, the user will get an invitation email from PhotoIn with a link that they can use to validate their email and complete initialization of their account. This can be useful if you want to ensure that the email address that was entered is correct before the account is created and activated. If that option is disabled, but require password change is enabled, the user account will be created with a random password. The user will receive an email from PhotoIn with a link that will allow them to reset their password, after which they will be able to access their account. If both options are disabled, the administrator will have to provide a default password for the user. In this case, the user will not receive an email from PhotoIn, and their account information will have to be communicated to them by their administrator.
Let's take a look at the process for creating a new user using the validate email option. I provided the information to create the user account and now I will click create. As you can see, it notified me that the user has been successfully invited. The user will receive an email that looks similar to this. There is a link to join photo in. Once they click on the link, they will be prompted to enter their password and click save after which their account will be fully initialized and ready for use. Let's take a look at an example of creating a user without an invitation but required password change equal to true. I've completed the information to create a new user. I'll click create. The user is already created and will receive an email that looks similar to this, prompting them to complete their user account setup using the link below. The link will take them to a page where they reset their password, after which they will be able to use their account. To edit an existing user, simply click on the Manage icon next to the user's name in the list. From this screen, you can update the user's first name and last name, and update their mobile app, web portal, or project access policies. You will not be able to edit a user's email address once their account is created. To disable a user, Simply set their mobile app access and web portal access to none. That will effectively disable the user's ability to access the system.